Here we find that faith is rewarded. The noble one said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your son lives. So the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him, and he went his way. So for the nobleman, he was given the promise, Your prayer is going to be answered, you can go. And I know that there are times, even in our own hearts, when we pray, that God gives us an affirmation of His Holy Spirit that it's okay. You don't have to worry anymore. You don't have to keep praying about it. I'm going to answer your prayer. And Elise has told the story of, um, about when my, my lung collapsed 15 years ago, and I was in the operating room, and I think a lot of people were worried, and Lisa received an affirmation in her spirit, you don't need to worry anymore. Cliff's not going to die. It's going to be okay. And so she kept praying, but her praying was no longer imploring. The prayer was thanksgiving and worship. And so I'm still standing here today. God answered his prayer. And I'm sure that she's not the only one that has experienced that kind of thing. But if you're walking with the Lord, you really do have his Holy Spirit bearing witness with your spirit that you are his child. And part of that is the affirmation that comes with the answer to prayer. Faith is rewarded. Finally, faith is contagious. Once we have our answers to prayer, it's really our responsibility and our joy to bring other people alongside with it. Now, we'll go ahead and read this. And as he was now going down... His servants met him and told him, saying, Your son lives. Then he inquired of them the hour when he got better, and they said to him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said to him, Your son lives. And he believed, and his whole household. So the only way the household believed was if he had told him told everybody there what had happened. There had to be a witness. Otherwise, it would have simply been, oh, your son's better, it's a good thing. But no, what we have here is an incredible story, and now a family legend that has occurred where a man went to Jesus, Jesus gave him a promise, and at that moment, the boy's fever left him. And I know that we have examples of this in our own lives. I've heard stories, even in this church, where like a couple of years ago, somebody got really, really sick and ended up in the hospital, really should have died. And yet through prayer, that person didn't die. And she woke up wondering, what is she still doing here? God is faithful, and he is also able to rescue us in our time of need. When that happens, it's our responsibility to give glory to God and let other people know this amazing thing has happened. That's called testimony time. And we should be giving testimony. We have opportunity every Sunday morning during our worship service as I am asking for prayer requests, joys and concerns, that's your time to open your mouth and tell everybody what Jesus is doing in your life. And yes, it's good to give thanks for mundane things, but it's also very important to recognize when God is doing the miraculous, He is doing the miraculous. He really is. Our God is mighty to save. And when people see just how mighty he is, then they begin to believe themselves. For the Samaritans, the entire town came to believe in Jesus Christ. For this Galilean, it wasn't the entire town of Capernaum, but it was an entire household. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like if the entire town of Royalton were to suddenly come to believe in Jesus Christ, and how powerful that would be. Others of you are thinking, boy, how wonderful it would be if my entire household would come to believe. For some, forget the household. What about my spouse? 
God is mighty to save. He is able to bring people to repentance. God is working even today. As he works, let's share what he's doing. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you that you are, in fact, working in our lives. I thank you that I have examples in my life that I was able to share. I know I'm not alone. And I'm sure if people were to think about it, they would recognize that there is a time when they cried out to you in a point of crisis, and you heard them, and you answered them, and, you, and maybe they forgot to give you glory, and they just went off on their way. But, Lord, I just pray that you would make us more attuned <coughs> to what you are doing in this life and in this world so that we can come alongside, so that we can recognize it and magnify it and let other people know it wasn't a coincidence, it wasn't our cleverness, it was you and you alone. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.